Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Infrared search and track systems are required for fighter aircraft to enable them to passively search, detect, track, classify and prioritize multiple airborne targets under all aspects looking up, down and co-attitude conditions and engage them at long ranges as possible. IRST systems are wide field of view surveillance system designed to autonomously search, detect, track and classify and prioritize the potential threats passively. These systems are becoming more and more important in modern air defense application because radars do not meet the requirement of passive surveillance, suffer from jamming and are vulnerable to anti-radiation missiles. Other reason for the preference of IRST system over radar is dramatic increase in IR sensor performance resulting in long range detection capability. As we all know that the prototype development of this MK2 is in progress and various subsystems, electronics and avionics that will feature in the fighter aircraft is under development. DRDO's lab IRDE has been working on the next generation infrared search and tracking system for this MK2 which is also called FSO or Front Sector Optronics IRST. As the stealth technology continues to challenge the dominance of radars near combat, FSO brings the IR spectrum to the fight to complement radar and maintain superiority in the air. The FSO solution is a passive counter stealth solution providing simultaneous visible and infrared capabilities for outstanding identification performance at long ranges. It operates at the optronic wavelength and is immune to radar jamming and provides covert long range detection and identification, high resolution angular tracking and laser range finding for sea and ground targets. We all know that the induction of 36 Rafales have significantly boosted the combat capabilities of Indian Air Force. The key to it is a several state-of-art equipment and systems aboard Rafale which contributes to Rafale's game-changing capabilities through a variety of solutions such as AESA RBE2 radar, the Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite for 360-degree detection and action modes, advanced man-machine interface with displays in cockpit, missile electronics, the front sector optronic with infrared search and tracking system, the CNI suite or communication navigation and identification suite as well as the power generation system and a logistic support component. The front sector optronics developed by Thales is fully integrated into the file operating in the optronic wavelengths. It is immune to radar jamming and provides the long-range detection and identification with high-resolution, multi-target angular tracking and laser range finding. With its narrow field, the visible wave band capability is truly valuable to identify targets in situations where visual contact is required by the rules of engagement. DIDO is now looking to fabricate the FSO IRST sensors which will be integrated with this MK2 and can also be extended to the fleet of Su-30 MKIs. However, the MK will not feature FSO as it will have EOTS system. EOTS is even found in F-35. It looks like a sapphire placed below the fuselage near the nose cone of F-35. DRDO has also completed its development and technology is in process of being tested. We have made a detailed video on it and the link for the same can be found in the description section. The FSO IRST will provide a coverage of plus minus 80 degree in azimuth and plus minus 40 degree in elevation. The sensor uses short range and medium wave infrared waves for tracking target. It can track a target not using afterburner from a range of 50 km facing the target's front hemisphere and from 100 km facing the target from rear hemisphere. It has a laser range finder with a range more than 10 km. The integration of FSO IRST is going to provide this MK2 capability to hunt the adversary fighter aircraft in silent mode or passively which is much needed edge in the modern aerial combat scenario in within visual range dogfight and it's also effective against the stealth fighter aircrafts. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.